I'm Mindy Weiss, and when I'm not planning my next big wedding, I'm at home creating new ideas for entertaining. Come watch me dress the table. Good morning. The family's sleeping. This is Sunday morning, and what do I do on Sunday mornings? I'm off to the flea market. But today I'm on a mission. It's Valentine's Day. I've done nothing. And I think it's so important to dress the table. Not only the meal, but the table has to be fabulous. Let's get going. You don't want to look too cute. They're not going to give you deals that they think you're too stylish. Good morning. Good morning. looking just for beautiful vintage anything Valentine's Day. Red glassware, this could be great. How cute would it be to buy a vintage apron so that your hubby and your kids see that you're carrying the theme all the way through. Save a tree, bring your own bags. So not real, you'll find a lot of fakes here. It's a good one, though. Too small for our table. I hope we find something. My husband collects matchbooks. I'm going to try to find him some special matchbooks and wrap it up for him as a little token of how much I love him. Score. Expensive, but score. These are from Germany. Now, if I end up buying these, I will take these colors to incorporate on the table with my linens, candles, flowers. I'm going to go a little more with humor as opposed to the German beautiful gorgeous ones. I'm going to lean over to a little whimsical and, and humorous. Well, I think all in all we had a great morning. We found some things for the centerpieces. I think I'm going to make some trays out of the old hankies. I got my hubby a little sweetheart gift. But I'm tired. I may go home and take a nap. Whew. We're at Owens Market now. This is my son Alex and he helps me all the time with my shopping. We're getting all the ingredients for our Valentine's Day dinner. You got the list? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So we're going to pick some Roma tomatoes for our pasta tonight. Alex and my husband love pasta. Oh, here's some basil. Heart-shaped pasta. This is going to work. This is cute. We are making some ice cream sandwiches for dessert. This may be cute just to place them inside for serving. We've got about three hours left to put everything together, but most importantly, dress our table and dress me. I think it's really important that we all look cute for Valentine's Day. See you at my house. starting to prep all the food. Sous chef Alex is here to help me. He's actually a really, maybe even better cook than me. So first we're gonna start with our croutons. We got plain white bread, nice and soft and fresh. And we're taking our heart-shaped cookie cutters. And we are going to make croutons out of this for our Caesar salad. We're gonna drizzle them with some olive oil. And then we'll put a little salt, fresh ground pepper, and they'll take about 14 minutes. They'll sit on top of our Caesar salad and actually make a statement. I like Roma tomatoes. Some people like vine ripe tomatoes and I think there's more flavor, but I love the way that these cook down and make a really good sauce. I'm gonna start chopping up some fresh basil leaves. If you can't get fresh, of course they sell them dried. Remember, this is your family. 
They're very forgiving. So we're going to put our tomatoes into the oil. Okay, how cute are these little heart pastas? I normally wouldn't buy, I would buy fresh pasta. So I'm not really sure how long this will take to cook, but I'm guessing between five and seven minutes. Look how beautiful. And it smells delicious. I'm gonna use two cloves of garlic. And you probably could use so much more, but that's all I can handle. All right, I'm just gonna add the basil now. So we're gonna put our pasta in our bowl. Pour this beautiful, fresh sauce and some fresh Parmesan cheese on top. We're gonna set this aside and we finally get to start dressing Whoa, the table. Mom, this is actually really good. Oh, thanks. You didn't have any confidence in me, did you? No, but now I do. Now you see, I have my long kitchen table. I didn't want to go into my dining room on a round table that seats 12. I wanted Valentine's to be as close and intimate as possible. So I bought these paper whites that already came in these awesome wood containers and I thought, this may be great to divide my table and it will divide this one small area which is very appropriate for three people. I found these chalkboards and what I did is I taped it together on the back so they wouldn't separate. And I thought, how much fun would these be? I love the color green, it matches my kitchen wonderfully. Remember I found these hankies at the flea market and I was thinking, what can I do with them? These may make really great napkin rings. Anything whimsy is gonna work here and add a little humor. And these are actually vintage nut dishes. This is my little Valentine's Day gift to Robert, little package of vintage matches. For Alex, just something little. He is crazy about Silly Putty. As we're sitting, we kind of have a beautiful scape to look at that I think is fun and really cute for Valentine's Day. Caesar salad is always pretty much the number one choice for the first course. We're gonna cut the bottoms of these romaines here. We'll probably use about four leaves. So we're gonna cut this into small little cubes. We're just gonna sprinkle this on top of our romaine. Okay, and we're gonna sprinkle some of our Parmesan cheese right on top. Caesar salad dressing, good work. We're gonna get our croutons. We're gonna place them on top. Alex is gonna take the plates on over to our table. Now we're on to dessert. If you thought the other things were easy, wait till you see this. I was in one of my favorite places, the World Market, and I found these cookies, which are my, one of my favorites. I call them elephant ears. They call them petite palmiers. They're very light, flaky, and I thought, how cute would this be? They're really shaped like a heart as ice cream sandwiches. Let's try it. And you probably only need one strawberry per cookie. Good work, one scoop, perfect. Then we're gonna top it with some strawberries. I think that's a really cute Valentine's Day dessert. And I'm gonna put these in the freezer so they're not melted by the time our dinner's done. Our food is cooked, our table's set, but one more thing, I need to get dressed. This is my favorite room in the house. I'll be right back. I'm dressed, time to eat. Where's mom? That's a lovely dress. Alex helped cook all day today. It looks delicious. That's for always loving you and your name. I hope you have a great Valentine's Day too. And I hope that you learned how to dress your table for all your special occasions. Now we'd like some privacy, please.